What's up? So my desk and my area is a little bit of a mess right now, but that's because Alex cleaned the entire floor and all my junk was on the floor, so he put it on my desk, which was just beyond nice of him. But now I need to quickly clean it off so I can show you why I'm making this video. Okay, that's a little bit better, but uh, let me let me get my computer. Okay, so as you could see, it said, dang, now I have to wait another week for another video and I commented back saying that maybe I can try to make another video this week, no promises, but here that video is. Basically, I wanted to see if I could do something with my week and try to implement a video that doesn't take like a ton out of me, but basically something to kind of add more content to this channel because I love making videos and I love challenging myself to do more and try to create more. And so that's kind of what this video is. It's a little bit more of a vloggy video, but let me explain kind of what's happening in my life right now and then take you with me for a little bit of an adventure because, well, you'll see in a second. Okay, so just to update you guys a bit, well, I got my backpack because, well, I didn't want to ruin the epicness of that shot, but I went back for it just to, just to update you. I need to be truthful. But anyways, I'm going to Hofstra in two days, which is up in Long Island, New York. And basically, I'm going there for my conference race. I'm in the CAAs, and it's my first college postseason meet. And so it's a smaller conference and not really the strongest. So we've won it for the past, like, I don't even know, like 18, 20 years, something like that. And so hopefully this year we'll continue that legacy. But I'm excited for that and I'm kind of nervous for that. But right now I'm going to get a haircut because my hair has gotten really long. And it sounds a bit weird, but I haven't gotten a haircut from a place like hair cuttery or, you know, buzz guy clip, uh, clips, I, I don't know the names of them. But basically I haven't gone to any of those different hair cutteries because my step grandma has cut my hair for the past like five years. So I don't know what to ask for, I don't know what to do, but I wanted to bring you guys along for the journey and kind of update you along the way. So the first part of finding your, your hair cutter is finding a place to go. And since I haven't gone and gotten a haircut in a long time, we're gonna have to do some Googling. And I don't know hair cutteries around here, but let's take a look. Okay, so I found this place called True Cuts. It's only 0.8 miles away and a bunch of the guys on my team have talked about it. So I know it's like kind of reputable. So I'm gonna go check it out. And if you're worried like this entire video is about me getting a haircut, well, don't worry. I'm gonna talk about other stuff. I mean, I just need to get a haircut. So let's head out. I think I know how to get there. So I'm gonna put the GPS away and just try and make it there without it. Okay, I don't know what it is, but over the past few days, I've been just walking around campus and biking around campus and just seeing like the most beautiful sights and wanting to take videos and pictures of everything. Like just the fall lighting is just incredible and everything looks so cinematic. Like, let me show you.
I know that probably wasn't the best example, but like just everything looks so good and you know, I just love taking videos of it. It's just such a beautiful season. Okay, so I'm finally here and I don't know if I can really film in there and I don't really know what to ask for, but I think I'm just gonna pull up some pictures of my old haircut and uh, see what she can do with it. <sighs> Last look with this hair. It was great knowing your long hair. Okay, so I forgot to mention this at the start, but basically I'm also stopping my food line to pick up some snacks and, you know, just goodies to help me recover and get ready for ACC's, I mean CAA's, wrong conference, but um, yeah, just grabbing some mango nectar and peach nectar just to, you know, have some sweets because after eating all the dining hall food for so long, you know, I just kind of need something refreshing and like super like, like I just need to treat myself basically, so here that is. Just found this cart, quite a score I must say. I was kind of hoping there would be one lingering around, but didn't actually think I'd find one that quickly. Now to find that apple cider vinegar. So I actually don't know much about apple cider vinegar and what it does for you, but my sister is really big on like natural healing, so I'm trying it out and I guess I'll let you know how it goes, but supposedly it's supposed to help my cold and help me recover a little bit faster, opposed to Dayquil and Nyquil and stuff like that, where it's just more of a band-aid that's supposed to help you really heal, so I'm going to give that a shot and see how it goes, but I'll definitely let you know on that one. Time to head home. Okay, so I'm finally back from True Cuts and I got some snacks at Food Lion and so I'm kind of done with all my errands for the night and you know, I, I think it's a good time to give a solid review of True Cuts because you know, I'm a big fan of reviews no matter if I'm gonna ever go there or whatever. So here's a quick review of True Cuts. Basically, she gave me an incredible haircut. Well, oh shoot, wrong light. Um, and I mean that's on you to decide but I thought it was pretty good it looks like my normal haircut and it just you know it gets the job done it's not like I have any like super fancy haircut that has hard requirements to achieve it's just like kind of trim it up a bit but she did a really good job and on top of that that you know it's just a really like homey atmosphere it's a local shop it's owned by the people that run it and um, yeah she did a great job Give me a massage afterwards with the warm towel, which I'm not used to coming from getting my step-grandma to do my hair, but it was a great experience. Okay, and now that you have the recap, it's time to take a shot of this apple cider vinegar. And before I do, I kind of want to look up 
you know, why I'm taking this because my sister told me to take it and she said it was really the key to get healthy after, you know, feeling kind of bad and having a head cold and stuff like that. I'm gonna quickly do a little bit of research and then I'll tell you why I'm taking this and we'll find out for myself as well, but then we'll take a shot together. So, one second on that. So basically when you drink this organic cold pressed apple cider vinegar, it contains a substance called must. And this must is what holds the mother, which is the colony bacteria working as probiotics when you consume them. And then these probiotics are immune boosting, which by drinking the apple cider vinegar can shorten the duration of a cold. And that shortening the duration of the cold is exactly what I'm looking for. So let's take a shot. Okay, so since none of us drink, I don't have any shot glasses, but I'm gonna just kind of get a random cup and fill that up and then take a shot of that. But I think it'll really do the job no matter what. I'm just trying not to drink too much. Alex was telling me that this, my, my shot I poured, is a bit of a fat shot. Right, Alex? Yes, sir. Uh, but, cheers. <laughs> oh, this better shorten the duration of my cold. Oh my gosh. Woo. This stuff is so strong. Like, I was mind blown. But anyways, that is kind of what I've been up to. Getting a haircut, getting ready for CAAs, which is really exciting. I'm so pumped to run there. And well, I just wanna leave you with one last important message because you know, as I am kind of feeling a little bit under the weather and trying to heal up with some apple cider vinegar, you know, this is just to prove that, you know, not everything goes perfectly. And I have CAAs in two days, so I'm really trying to do everything I can to feel good. But no matter who you are, no matter what position you're in, if you're sick, you can't use that as an excuse because being sick is not an excuse. It's just an opportunity to prove to yourself that you can do more than you believe. And so for me, I'm doing everything I can to feel good, but in all honesty, I probably won't feel amazing on race day. But that doesn't mean I'm not gonna give it my all and maybe run the best time of my life. I don't know what's gonna happen, but you can't limit yourself. And so today, I just wanted to leave you with that. But as usual, live happy, be healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Men in the party, I know Ray and all his nephews repping sweet talk. Shaka go make my friend's best friend from Belize. She loves TDE, favorite songs called the Grains. Say not that.